Um, so in this video, um, we're going to make an attempt to demonstrate um, some of the features I've been working on and developing for the past, uh, I think, about three weeks, four weeks now. Um, it's an application that's supposed to try and capture uh, cars and road, uh, mostly re review of, of cars, uh, because the assumption is the tablet or the phone is going to be put in front of the uh, uh, in front of the uh, vehicle, uh, either outside or inside, for example, on the dashboard, uh, or near the wheel. Now, to keep things simple and not go into specifics of implementation and whatnot, what um, I'll just try to demonstrate the application the way it works and the way it's being tested uh, in practice, um, and the way it's being treated more as an application, and not really as a uh, um, as a research tool or uh, as an experimental tool to learn from. Uh, so what I'll do is I will just show how it's working and running the application. Um, the application itself is actually running. I just have to uh, select it from the side. Okay. Just a second. Uh, application is here. So this is something I was showing before. Hopefully the brightness will be better now. So I can actually, yeah, it's a lot better than before. So I can at least show the. Let me just try and put it at the center. So if I hold it like this, you can hopefully see that I have got the applications here for car navigation. It's one of those here. Okay, and that's going to show what's at the very front of the tablet. And if I point the tablet to the screen. I'm not going to go into specifics that I covered before, but basically this is uh, displaying the screen. Okay, you can see frames per second displayed. So if I'm going to put this in front of the camera, you can see frames per second. Okay, and I'm going to point it to the screen, and now I'm going to enable a mode that's going to at least try to detect the cars in the scene, even though we don't actually have cars in the scene. Uh, I'm just going to try and demonstrate. Actually, there are several things here of interest. You can do any edge detection in here. So you can see everything edge detected. And we go into the mode, which does the detection of the supposed cars. Is this actually in the mode? No, just a second. Okay, should work now. Yes, no? Not working yet? No, that's an old version of the application. <laughs> um, let me just uh, close this one. Uh, what I'm going to do is I will close this application. I'll try this one. Assuming that's the correct version of the application. Just more noises from my RC channels. Just to be ignored. Um, and we'll go about... Right, so this... Now can you see the uh, right the green squares? Several of them um, actually give an indication of <coughs> what's <coughs> of what's being uh, uh, what's actually passing the threshold for a test of being a car. So if you put it in front of the screen of my right my computer screen, you only see the tablet. And you actually see the two screens being reflected, the two monitors being reflected upon by the. Anyway, <coughs> if you look at that, you will notice that it's detecting the windows as being a bit like cars, and one of the things, one of the, you know, one of the squares kind of flickering there because it's not quite so certain if it's a, a car, or something else. Um, so what I'm going to do now, or maybe I'll do it in the next video, is I will try and show a uh, uh, example of several cars being put in front of the uh, of the tablets or pictures that contain cars and the aim is for the uh, tablet or it could be a phone you know it's just android running uh, with some you know off the shelf camera uh, in this case a VGA um, quality camera <coughs> and it's supposed to detect the, uh, the objects of interest and I was training the classifier <coughs> on quite a few cars and you know false negatives and, and all that so.